พร้อมอาลีวันแล้วพร้อมอาลีพร้อมอาลีพร้อมอาลีอาลีดงอลีอัสตาบรอสอัสตาบรอสอัสตาบรอสวันนี้เราจะพูดถึงเรื่องของการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้าใจการเข้า Bener, top. Yes, Ali. Akhirnya Ali benar. Number six, farming and the process used to take care of crops and animal. Ali, you know? Yes, Arman, you know Arman. I think agriculture. Yes, great. The next is number seven. Far away from large cities and difficult to reach. Panja, Panja. Okay, sir. Next, next, Panja. Num number seven, yes. Yes. Zoo. Very good, sir. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. You always wrong. Wrong. Like Ali. Sorry, sir. I'm stupid. Number seven. Ah, maybe Arif can answer, sir. No. No. Number seven is the isolated sir. Yes. Number eight is wrong. Read the quest first. Arab. Okay, sir. Range of time. Can you read it, sir, please? Range of time. Range of time, yes, sir. Yeah. Arab. Read, sir. Read. Read. Yes. Read. Yes. Developing listening skills. Listening. A skill presentation. A. Listening for main ideas. Page 106. Okay, class. Let's get started with the first presentation. Sampel has prepared a short presentation about his home country of Bhutan. Go ahead, Sampel. Thanks. Um, hi everybody. You know that my name is Sompel, but you may not know that I'm from Bhutan. Bhutan is a small country, high in the Himalaya mountains, between India and China. In our language, Bhutan is known as Druk Yal, which in English is land, land of the Thunder Dragon. The dragon is even displayed on our flag. For many years, my country was isolated from the world, partly due to its geography. It's surrounded by high mountains, but also because of government policies. Our government had always been a, an absolute monarchy. I mean, a government headed by a king with unlimited power. Anyway, until very recently, Bhutan had no electricity, no cars or trucks, no telephones, and no postal service. You may be surprised to learn that in Bhutan, People have only had television since 1999. It was the last country on earth to get it. You may be wondering, why did Bhutan reject the modern world for so long? Well, the government was trying to protect the people from native influences, such as high crime rates, youth violence, and pollution. But the king has admitted that the policy of isolation had many negative consequences. For example, the education system definitely fell behind. Some people never learned to read and write. Then one of our kings began opening up Bhutan to the outside world, and our current king has continued the process. There are new roads, schools, and health clinics. The king doesn't want to open up the country all at once to the outside world and risk ruining it. He wants our country's development to be guided by, uh, let me think. Oh yes, gross national happiness. Sampel, sorry to interrupt. Before you continue, could you define
define gross national happiness for the class, please? Um, sure, I should have put it. Well, you've probably heard of gross national product, which is a phrase that refers to the dollar value of all the goods and services produced by a country over a period of time. It's one way of measuring a country's success. But gross national happiness is different. Actually, one of our kings invented the phrase gross national happiness. It's the approach the country takes to the domestic development of the time to help make sure that the people are always happy with their lives and with the country. There are four parts, um, four pillars to this approach. Good government, sustainable development, environmental protection, and cultural preservation. So, for good government, the king puts the needs of the country first. In fact, even though the people love him, he gave away most of his power to the people in 2006. That's when the country transitioned to democracy. The king still has an important role, but he no longer has absolute power. Real power belongs to the people and the officials that we elect. Sustainable development means that we help our country grow without damaging the environment. And the pillar of environmental protection is closely related to sustainable development, too. Agriculture is very important in the time, and we are trying to find new ways to farm without hurting the environment. Also, the government wants to keep 68% of the land covered in forests. Cultural preservation, the last pillar, is a challenge, though. Half of Bhutan's population is in their 20s or younger, and the government anticipates that some young people will get involved with gangs, crime, or drugs, for example. The government has banned television channels that they think are harmful. Even so, youth gangs are growing. Theft, which was not very common before, is also rising. On the other hand, there is a positive side to all of the changes. In a mountainous country such as Bhutan, communication technologies, for instance, mobile phones and the internet, allow people to communicate more easily than ever before. And it seems that the arts are really moving ahead. 20 years ago, Bhutan had never produced a movie, but these days, we produce over 20 a year. And some movies have even displayed the difficulties that Bhutan has had with the challenges of the modern world. And these types of movies are important. They can help us explore the contradictions that have come with our changing culture. Sampel, how do you view Bhutan's future? Well, I'm hopeful about Bhutan's future. And I'm glad that the approach of gross national happiness is helping to make sure that we don't lose our beautiful environment and the best parts of our ancient culture. Uh, what can you do? Okay, this is uh, listening to the presentation. Yes. And the next is question number one. Why did Bhutan reject the modern world? Are you? What the? <laughs> Why did Bhutan reject the modern world? Um, why is, what's up? Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> why did Bhutan, Bhutan reject the modern world? Uh, see, sir. The hey, sir. Hey, it's wrong, Ali. Number one is B. It's B. Okay, the next question is number two. What government change is happening in Bhutan? Salman. Salman. In the in the key, uh, apa namanya? In the key answer, answer key. Oi. <laughs> Good, good. Okay. Are you prepared to be a good answer? 
The answer is A, I think, sir. B. No, I think B. A, no way. You wrong. You wrong. So I am the right person. No, sir. Yes, I think. Good job. Right. You must still give me A, girl, sir. Yes. The last question. What is Samper's attitude about you that future? Oh, so we, we, we don't know, sir. We don't know, sir. We don't know, sir. The answer is, hmm, let me think. <laughs> No, we didn't know sir. A or B or C? We didn't know sir. We didn't know sir. We didn't know because 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 yes sir. Are you are you help me sir? Can you help me sir? The last question is. Okay, the last question. Can you help me sir? And the answer to the last question is C. Why? Why? Because hopeful. Because Samper is hopeful. Okay. Okay. Next. Why sir? Why the answer is C? Sir. Sir, uh, and that's enough from me. From sir, uh, sir, you said that before. You have the last question for me. The last question was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the last question is number four. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Sir. okay. Uh, uh, the conclusion is you can use the AI for listening or studying anything. Okay, sir. That's enough from me. Salamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wassalamualaikum.